that I have that that comes with the power that I have and the strength that I have. I think that that's a that's a combination alone itself. And then you add my boxing IQ. You add the fact that I don't want you to be comfortable in the ring, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make you uncomfortable. And you, we got a great fight on our hands, man. We, we great do have fight. a great fight on our hands. What's your biggest advantage here? You know what? Uh, I think his timing. I think he gets into a, a, a rhythm and a timing that, that fits him and what he likes to do. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to disrupt that timing, but I think that my me winning this fight relies on me disrupting his timing. Keith Thurman, prime. Prime Danny yeah. Garcia. Yeah. Prime Errol Spence. Malinaji, prime Kell Brook. What have you learned in those fights? You know, every experience has got me to the next fight. Uh, there's things that I've gone through in Keith Thurman that really did show up in my fight mm -hmm. with Errol Spence Jr. I mean, those, those two, almost three years apart, those two fights are, mm -hmm. you know. So getting into the ring with Terrence Crawford, I really do believe that I've seen it all. I've seen it all live. He has not seen anything like me in the moment when the heat is going, when the when the bullets, the, the gloves are flying. And that's when the adjustments need to be made. And we'll see what happens. I was surprised to hear you talk about knocking out <laughs> Terrence Crawford. Do, why? Do, why? Why? Wait, wait, why wait, wait. be surprised? If, if, if any style. fighter, if any fighter could, they knock out everybody in 30 seconds. Every fight will last one minute. So yes, believe me when I when I say that I've been in the gym training to mm -hmm. knock out not just Terrence Crawford but everyone but that I fought at the highest level is where it's very difficult to do. Mm -hmm. But if it can be done, I'm going to go out there and do everything that's required. Do you believe there's a high likelihood? That you knock out Terrence Crawford, or are you touching those nerves you think you know? No, I'm not touching nerves. I'm not saying anything just that it gets back to him and he says, oh, Sean Porter thinks he's going to knock me out. I don't even think that that would touch a nerve with him. But he, he knows that I'm a real speaker. He knows that mm -hmm. everything that I mm -hmm. say is real. I'm not going to talk stuff to Terrence. It's, he knows that that's not real. It's not who I am. Your legacy depends on this fight? Absolutely. My legacy depends on this fight because, as I told you, I've been at the top. I've been in some Super Bowls. I've won a couple, maybe, mm -hmm. but I haven't won the biggest the biggest ones. And this is my, new super, this is my next Super Bowl. i got to win this one. Yeah, one thing for sure is uh, he's lost his, you know, significant fights as of late. And a lot of people felt he lost to your Ugas, current WBA super champion. 31-3-1 and one with 17 KOs, Sean Porter. Last fight was um, in the PBC bubble against the Bastion Formella. Before that, Errol Spence on pay-per-view to African-American fighters headlining a pay-per-view. We don't get a lot of that these days. Um, your Dennis Ugas, Danny Garcia. He won the Danny Garcia fight, but to be honest, wasn't he the favorite, of, the favorite to beat Danny Garcia? Danny Garcia's Achilles heel is pressure and uh, volume. Adrian Granados, Andre Berto. Andre Berto at that point in time, in my opinion, was done. Keith Thurman. Prime, Adrian Broner. I was surprised he made that 144 pounds, to be honest. Kell Brook. That was a big fight. A lot of people thought that Kell Brook was going to get slaughtered because of what um, Sean Porter was doing to people. And he damn sure put a boot in Paulie Malinaji ass. Devin Alexander, Julio Diaz, quality fight. Phil Greco, quality fight. He was undefeated at the time. Alfonso Gomez, nice little, you know, step-up fight. He even fought Ray Robinson. Eleven years ago. Terrence Crawford, 37 and 0 with 28 KOs. Kell Brook, his last fight. Well, let's face it. By the way, if you don't know, Kell Brook looked like it looks like Kell Brook's gonna be fighting Amir Khan. Um, I was watching the uh media workout. For the uh, Terry Harper, Alicia Bumgartner card, and the uh, Barry Galahad, Barry Galahad versus Kinko Martinez. My camera, put my camera on. And um, yeah, he, he was there doing some interviews, Kell Brook. So even though that fight is late, still, I'm still interested in it because, you know, I always like to see what kind of new creative ways Amir Khan can get knocked out. Because I think if Kell Brook and Amir Khan do fight, Amir Khan's going to get knocked out. Um, Aglidis Kavalaskis, that was, that was his WBO mandatory, so he had to fight him. 
Kavalaskis most recently got spatched by new looming WBO mandatory Virgil Ortiz. The Jose Bennett, the Amir Khan fight with um, uh, Terrence Crawford and Khan, I don't know what they were thinking putting that on pay-per-view. That still like rubs me the wrong way. I'm 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 pissed off about that. By the way, my Canelo video is coming after this. I didn't forget about it. I got a lot. We can shoot a fat. We got ten minutes before um, Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter have their live media Zoom call. Of course, we're going to be watching it in its in, in its entirety. Um, it starts at one thirty Eastern. The time is right right there it's a uh, 120 so we got 10 minutes or so to chill and chew the fat talk about the undercard the pay-per-view is 69.99 on espn plus the average flagship pay-per-view price has been 80 bucks we're not talking about exhibitions we're talking about tank davis pay-per-views fury uh fury versus um wilder three canelo versus plant so this is ten dollars cheaper than you know a regular pay-per-view also isn't this going to be exclusive? Let me check my um, cable real quick. Oh, guess what? I can pull it up here. Yeah, I've been working, getting like new technology and everything. So let's go check and see if the pay-per-view um, is available exclusively on on ESPN Plus to try to keep some of the buys in-house. Where's this daggone thing at? Hold on. I got all these gadgets and shit. Anyway, how have you guys been, man? You guys all right? Yeah, I was uh, suspended from YouTube for a week, like a fucking asshole. Um, actually, two weeks, really. I had six copyright strikes, had to take care of those strikes, not claims, not blocked strikes. Like, I got, they was, you know, it was some shit. You know, um, it was resolved peacefully. And then, as soon as I get that resolved, this was like last Sunday, I got hit with a community guideline strike for bullying and harassing. For a video I did fucking two years ago. Bastards. So I was suspended all the way until Monday. I also had court next week. I meant last week. I also had court last week, so that was some shit. Hold on, I'm pulling up something here. My last court date of the year, I've had six so far this year. Yeah, we're, we're gonna check and see. Oh shit, I got the remotes mixed up. No, we're good. Grande al hacer las compras festivas en Amazon. Yeah, I want to see if uh, the pay per view, as you can see, I got Canelo. Where, where, where is it at? I was watching it. Um, I haven't finished it yet. I'm going to show you. Where is that? Where are we at? So, yes, I did pay for it. I paid for all my shit. This is where I left off. We're not going to show it, obviously. So, I think I'm in like round seven. Or some shit. Where we at? Yeah, I'm in round six. So I haven't finished the fight yet. Like I haven't seen anything outside of highlights. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to see if the pay per view Crawford versus Porter is exclusively available only. Oh man, we gotta go over the whole week. Hold on. Wait, can I just do it this way? Hold on. Exclusively on ESPN Plus. I've been. I'm. I'm tired of paying for these pay per views. Shit. I mean, yeah, I make the money back and, you know, it's a business expense and all that crap. But, like, damn, they've been whooping our ass with these joints. What day is this? Saturday? That's only Saturday? But, yeah, they've been whooping our ass with these joints. Anyway, let's go back while I'm fast-forwarding here until 2 next Saturday. Let's go back. So, yeah, basically, I've been out the loop. So, I took some time, um, revamped my platform a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to be streaming every day. Also, some other good news. Um, while I was uh, dealing with my unjust um, suspension, I did get my other channel monetized and fully partnered with YouTube, T-Street Uncut. So the same things I can do in this channel, I can officially now launch, you know, and do videos every day on whatever. Who, me? I clickbait? I clickbait? what I do? I didn't do nothing. So yeah, in about seven minutes or so, Terrence Crawford, um, yes, I got to do a uh, blood, sweat and tears. Terrence Crawford and uh, Sean Porter be going to have going to be having a zoom call in like a few minutes, like seven minutes or so six. All right. Now what I'm looking for is to see if this pay-per-view, okay, we made it to Friday. Does anybody know if, um, Crawford versus Porter is going to be, damn it. Hold on. Going to be exclusively 
on uh, ESPN Plus. We're about to find out. No, Crawford versus Porter is exclusively on ESPN Plus. So you can't buy it through your uh, cable or uh, dish provider. But I'm hyped for it. Let's go look at the undercard. Oh, well, BoxRec hasn't put the undercard up yet. But the undercard, I put the um, information down below for the undercard in the description box. Hold on one minute. Let me pull it up so I can read it to you. You're going to have Esqueva Falco. I know I'm probably butchering these names. Versus a uh, Patrice Volney. Hassan Andam, Andam versus a Janzebek Alon Kanuli. And I used to know how to say his name until, you know, I missed, you know, because he fought and um, beat up Rob Brandt. And you're going to have a uh, Raymond Muratala versus a Steven Ortiz. I mean, you can't really expect for the undercard to be great, right? You know? I mean, it's a pay-per-view. We're not used to having good things, especially since um, how much are the fighters supposed to be making? Isn't it Terrence Crawford, $6 million, um, allegedly rumored? And um, Sean Porter, $4 million, something like that, with a pay-per-view upside? And uh, Terrence Crawford is a secret MTK global fighter. Mm, it's, like a, it's a secret, though. Remember, he took, if you don't know, he took a uh, little trip to uh, Dubai. When was that? It's on his Instagram. And I was like, every time I see a fighter go to Dubai, to Dubai I'm thinking like, yo, they're about to meet with MTK to get some money. Also, there's some rumors circulating around that there's some other secret MTK fighters out there. You know, that's something to really pay attention to. Oh, yeah, Isaac Dogbay versus Christopher Diaz. That's on the free uh, TV portion. Or ESPN portion of the uh, Crawford versus the uh, Crawford versus uh, Porter of uh, 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 pay per view. Oh shit! Let me sign into uh, Zoom. So yeah, Terrence Crawford momentarily and Sean Porter are going to be having a uh, Zoom call talking about the fight. We don't know what's going on with Errol Spence, but it is a. Uh, Confirmed that Errol Spence and your Dennis Ugas was in the works for February the 22nd of 2022. So Errol Spence can fight again, but who's he going to fight? You know, it makes no sense for him to fight Ugas if he's not fighting Ugas for the belt. And Ugas is pissed. He's been bitching and complaining. Well, I think he stopped, but he was bitching and complaining for like two weeks. It was kind of sickening. Yeah. You know what I don't like? When people come in here, try to extra relate. They be like, you know, they start calling me by my real name and shit. Terrell, uh, where the hell you been? Hello, Frank Smoke. Yes, my name is Terrell. Like, what the fuck, man? And you spelled it wrong. Hold on, I'm pulling up this uh, Zoom call here. Yes, I had a suspension. I had a YouTube suspension. So I lost, I lost a lot of fucking money, man. Like, and you know what? I wasn't really that mad. Uh, it was my daughter's birthday week weekend too, but yeah, not not being able to cover UFC and not being able to cover um uh boxing, I probably lost about maybe three thousand dollars, two three thousand dollars depending. I was looking at the uh, Canelo uh numbers on other channels, and I'm thinking like, damn, I lost you know. And also like, what is up with um uh you know what? I need to save that for my Canelo stream because I got some good material I need to unleash. Here, let me log into this Zoom call. But yeah, bro, people be taking this boxing shit, you know, like really, really personally. And I understand that, you know, boxing on YouTube to me, being like a boxing vlogger on YouTube, it's kind of dirty and perverse. You know, I've been working on other shit in the background. And now that I got my other channel, what is this going on here? What is this? And now that I got my other channel um, uh, fully monetized. Uh, T Street Uncut and actually partnered, I can actually start covering other shit. Because sometimes, you know, I have like a love-hate relationship with boxing. You know, and Donnell, my bad, I'm just getting to all my messages, so I did see your message if you're in the chat. But yeah, I got a nice little system, so I freed up my um myself and my schedule 
until I don't go back to court again or have anything. I am lawyered the fuck up, bro. $13,000, 13500 to be exact, in lawyer fees this year, man. That shit kind of hurt. But at the same time, it feels good to be, like, protected, you know? Okay, Zoom, open link. Let's see if they're starting. It's a 129. These things never start on time. Bro, what is going on? Why is this dog going? Okay, here we are. This meeting is for authorized attendees only. Who you, what? I'm not authorized. I got the email me. How dare you? Let's see. Hold on. Maybe I did something wrong. Sign in to join. Ah, they making me do all kind of bullshit. I don't feel like doing all this. Hold on, I did something wrong here. Oh yeah, it was the wrong link. Okay, all right, cool. So yeah, man, we back, man. You know, um, um, I'm gonna finish watching Canelo versus Plant because I was actually scoring the rounds because people were saying that uh, he was winning. Meaning Caleb Plant. Some people saying that Caleb Plant was up on the cards. Please, somebody fill me in. I think they sent out the wrong link, man. This ain't cool. Here, let me open it up in another. Hold on. Apologies for the technical difficulties.